Hi guys, it's Lika here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lika and I review a lot of activewear. Um, although today I will review some normal clothing. <laughs> so if you're interested in that and like some fun and, um, you know, good vibes, even though things things won't fit, <laughs> um, then you just keep watching. Uh, yeah. Like I said, today we have some normal clothing again. I've done this uh, before when I reviewed a Swedish brand that was called Schickel. I will link that video here for you. And we've already realized, for me, finding normal pants is not that easy. <laughs> so, um, we have another adventure today. I ordered from Vero Moda. I, I think, I don't know if they're Spanish or not, but like they're, they're definitely like a bigger brand in Europe, for sure. Um, I used to shop them a lot uh, in Germany and also here in Sweden. They do have their own website, but you can also shop them through, through Zalando and stuff. And um, they just have like everything you need, like H&M basically, like dresses, pants, shirts blouses, whatever, jackets, all that, <clears throat> and um, yeah, I am going to a conference, or maybe at the time of this video I will be at the conference, or will have been at the conference, in person for the first time uh, since I started my PhD, so if you don't know, I'm doing a PhD in biotechnology, and um, due to, you know, what happened <laughs> over the last two years, I was not able to travel to present my research, and now finally I have the chance. So I was like, you know, Rike, it would be nice to not show up just in jeans and stuff, but like maybe I could find like a nice dress pant kind of thing, which of course like for me is a little bit more difficult. I have a smaller waist and a bigger hip situation, and it's not that easy to find these things for me. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I recently went to a department store and they had some Vero Moda stuff there and I saw a pair of pants that was really, really cute and looked really stretchy and really nice. Unfortunately, it was only there an extra small. So uh, yeah, I didn't dare to try that. <laughs> I'm usually between a small and a medium, so the extra small was not gonna work. At least I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Um, and yeah, so I was like, you know what, I'll just check out their website and see if they have other like cute dress pants. And um, that's what I did. But of course, also it's summer and they have some cute dresses as well. So today I'll be reviewing dresses and dress pants. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I actually didn't mean to film this, but then I tried on the pants and apparently I'm very funny when I do that. I was told. So I will um, basically go through everything again, everything again and like show you and we can have a laugh together. Um, not everything was a disaster, some things were a little bit of a disaster, but some things are really, really cute. And um, although the dress pants were my main aim, I will still start with something that is not a dress pant. I will start with my favorite dress from Vero Moda, that I already now have in two colors, and I only ordered it again because I already had it from last year. So this is, I'm not actually exactly sure what these pieces are called because I only have it in Swedish written down here. So uh, I will just translate, but you'll find the exact word. Um, the exact name in the description box. So this is the Bohemian three quarter arms um, tunic. And I have this in this blue bell color, which is really, really pretty. But I also already had this in this really cute red. I think this was called Marcella red. And this is like a very, it's just a cotton piece. And I found it so good for when it's really, really hot outside. Cause yes, it has long sleeves, but that also gives you coverage um, from the sun. And it, since it's cotton, it's so lightweight, it's very flowy. Like, it was so good to wear when it was like 35, 36 degrees outside. But it's still nice when it's just 25, like it was for me yesterday. So yesterday I wore this one, which is the new one that I now got. And they're the exact same, although I bought them a year apart and now they have them in like 10, 12 different colors. Um, so I'm assuming a lot of people like these too. Um, and it's so cute. Like, it's a more of a shorter dress. And for me, usually when I wear something like this loose, because it doesn't even have too much of a waist, um, it makes me look a little bigger, which personally, if it's 35 degrees, I do not care anymore. But I also usually do like to pair these with a belt. Um, I will show you that as well when I wear them, and then you can accentuate your waist still and still look cute. And I've gotten compliments a lot of times when I've worn these, uh, or like this one, because I only have this one new now, <laughs> um, because people thought it looked really, really cute. And also that it's so flowy and um, yeah, it's just really, really good for when it's really warm. So this is definitely my favorite piece. Um, I know it's it's interesting to start with your favorite piece, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> but I just had to get this off my chest, you know. You should get a, a dress if you can, like this, or this tunic, I guess. Um, yeah, so it has like three quarter long sleeves, so a little bit of an elastic here. 
Um, like it kind of reaches me around my elbow, so that's fine for me. We have a little bit of a, you know, open situation, but it's, it's kind of like it goes until here, so you don't really get too much cleavage either. And then we have these tassel things that you can kind of um, tie them if you want to. I usually don't. We have really, really nice detailing here. Um, and then just like, yeah, it's just flowy, it's pretty. In the back, it's very simple as well. And like I said, if you just, if it's too hot, just wear it like this and you gotta be fine. Um, just don't forget to put sunscreen on here because that I recently forgot that and I had a little bit of sunburn here, which you might still be able to see. <laughs> but my, my lower arms were fine. It was just, just here. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I said, I like to wear these with a belt most of the time. But if it gets too hot, I don't even bother anymore with the belt. And I will show it to you like flowy and with the belt. And then you can see how you can pair this. And I like to wear these with like just some sandals. Um, some I like to wear like golden sandals and stuff. And it just looks super cute together. So also, I feel like this is a great swim cover up because you can just throw it on and you're you're fine to go. Um, so yeah, let's see these on. All right, here we have this very cute dress and this super nice light blue color um yeah i love this color it's like so summery to me and it's just i mean light blue is one of my favorite colors but i have a lot of favorite colors so i don't know if that counts <laughs> but yeah we have the tassels here um you can see how flowy this is it still gives you a little bit of shape but like not a lot and from the front more so than from the side for sure we do have um like this elastic here but like i said it kind of hits you I mean, if you really wanted to, it could hit you there. I usually put this in my elbow crease there and then it's not really like annoying or anything. It's not cutting in too much. Um, we have all this cute detailing here. So, you know, I like it a lot. It's a good length because sometimes I have problems with dresses being like too short on me, especially in the back, but even in the back, it's still good length. It's not shorter there. Everything is good. Um, but yeah, you can see what I mean from the side. It doesn't really give me a lot of shape and because I'm a bigger butt, like it's kind of like bulges out there and then just makes me look a little shapeless. But like I said, if it's like 35 degrees Celsius, I do not care anymore. Um, and then the back is also just very cute. So yeah, I like how flowy this is. It's, it's very cute. The tassels, like I said, you could if you wanted to like tie this here a little bit, um, you know, but only if you wanted to. And then, like I said, I usually wear this with a belt on top. So I have like just a belt here. You can take brown or black. It doesn't really matter. And then just give this a little bit more shape. And it's still like very lightweight, but like you have this waist now, like it especially helps from the side to kind of like give my body a little bit more um, of a figure. And, you know, I still think it's super cute. It's still very flowy and that's just how I personally wear it a lot. But like I said, if it's getting too hot, I do not care anymore. I don't, I don't put the belt on. It's just like the flowiness for me then. But this way it's also so cute. Just make sure you don't put the tassels in uh, underneath the belt, but just have them on top. And yeah, this is like really such a fun dress and um, you, could, you can style it however you want. So yeah. All right, here I'm showing it to you in the nice red color. It's such a flattering color. I think this fits every skin tone. And again, I mean, we have the same details here. You have the tassels, you have, um, you know, the detailing here as well. And again, from the front, it looks a little bit more shapey than from the side. And I think that also differs, like it depends on your body type, how this looks uh, on you from the side as well. And again, the elastics and the elbow crease, and it's not a problem at all. And yeah, it's just very flowy. I like flowy dresses. I like to be able to do this, you know? Um, and let me show it to you with the belt as well. Again, same belt. I think the brown fits really nicely with this uh, red color. And again, you can just take any belt. I don't even know where I have this from anymore. Um, but yeah, it just looks super cute. Gives you a little bit more of a shape here. Still flowy, you know, and it's still long enough also in the back. So yeah. I just like this one. It's definitely a favorite for summer. All right, we have a lot more dresses and pants to go through. 
but um, I just grabbed a pair of pants now from the pile of the things I'm not keeping, so we can find out where I'm not keeping these. Um, these are the, let me check, the High Rise Loose Paperback Pan GA, and then there's a lot more letters and words, whatever, um, and the color Beluga. So this is more of a brownish gray. I always thought like, I don't know, when I picture a whale, I picture it more of like a bluish gray, not a brownish gray. Anyway, it's a paper bag, uh, panned. It's more of a, like a lighter fabric. It's not very stretchy though, and that was one of the issues. <laughs> um, yeah, we do have this like tie belt here. We do have some actual pockets, which I also think are important in the bag with some fake fancy pockets. I just think these pockets look fancy, but I mean, I'd still prefer to be able to use them. And no, they're not just ones you have to cut open yourself, but like you can see, it's not an actual pocket. There's nothing there. Um, they're really just fake. But yeah, it's like a lightweight material, which is gonna be nice because, I mean, the summer, um, what is it? It's Lycosel, Tencel, whatever. Um, and I got these in a size medium and 32 inch length. So yeah, medium should theoretically fit. We have like a little bit of a fold over Thing here at the ankle so this should kind of be ankle length I think um, and then we have this whole like I don't know what you call these buttons but like these uh, sliding buttons um, two of them and then an inner button as well I hate these inner buttons because like buttoning them up was always such a like you know struggle because I'm not used to having to button up these inner buttons so um, yeah but yeah the, the not enough stretch kind of is a little bit of an issue but let's see these on <laughs> or at least as much on as I can. <laughs> Alright guys, I thought it would be fun to take you on the journey of putting on these pants, you know, so we can really see what happens. For this purpose I'm wearing my Toluca one piece, um, so no one can say I'm just wearing underwear. And now we can see what happens. Oh dear, it's already tight around my calves. How is this even possible? Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Like, how is this tight around my calves and my knees? And no, this is, this is as far as we go, okay? And like, this is so tight around my calves and my knees. Like, what? Um, so yeah, these are my size. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't even get them over somewhere around my mid thigh. So um, this is, yeah, embarrassing. And even if I would have gotten them there, like, like, I'm not kidding you, like, it's tight around my calves already. Like, no. <laughs> these are, these are, um, let's just, let's just do it like this. These are, these are, no. All right, let's move on with some more pants before we go back to dresses. I'm not sure yet if I'm, if I'm gonna, like, just go through all the pants and then the dresses. I mean, I know I started with a dress, but maybe let's just go through all the pants now. Anyway, we have the High Rise Loose Paperback Fia Pant. Uh, color and black gray blue because this is a pattern. I actually thought this pattern looked kind of cute. It's not really summery, I know, but like I still thought it was kind of cute. It's a bit more of a straight leg here. Again, a paper bag because I always feel like the paper bag waists do fit me a little bit better because I can go for a medium and still have an actual belt that's already supposed to be there to kind of help me get the waist a little bit tighter because generally I'm a waist um, in the small. Sorry, I'm a small in the waist. <laughs> Uh, I again got these in a size medium, but this time in a 30 inch length, so I'm assuming they didn't have them in a 32 inch, because I think generally the 32 inch is more my thing. And they are basically the exact same pant. The fabric is a little bit different, it's a little bit more thick, a little bit more like tweety, tweet-esque, I don't know. Um, but again, pockets here and then fake pockets in the bag, these fancy fake pockets. And again, just like really just fake, there's nothing, there's nothing there. Because why would we need extra pockets, right? Um, yeah, women don't need to store anything in their pockets, like, thank you very much. Um, cause yeah, I also have to carry things. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, these are like, a, I'm also usually, I'm, I'm a person that likes to wear skinny jeans. So like these pants are like also out of my comfort zone a little bit, but like, like I said, I think they look like nicely put together while still being hopefully comfortable. That's at least what I was thinking. But again, these have a little bit more stretch, but not a ton. Um, so yeah, let's see these on if I can. <laughs> All right, next pair. Also, by the way, if you're wondering, usually I do my turning thing in the items like you've seen with the dresses. If I can only get them off till here, there's no point to do the turning, okay? <laughs> so I'll only do it for the items that actually fit today. 
So let's see these. Same size, so shouldn't be, uh, you know, sh should theoretically not be better or actually should still fit. And again, like I feel some tightness around my knees. Oof. All right, but we can get them a little bit further. Yeah, but like there's no stretch to this. <laughs> Again, knees and calves, it's just tight. Um, I could probably, if I wanted to, squeeze myself a little bit further in because I feel like they would fit my waist if they actually got up to where my waist was. But yeah, we're kind of like the thighs and the knees and like, again, the calves, it's tight when I do this. Um, again, I kind of preventing this from happening. So yeah. They also would look a little short on me, I think, because they're currently already like a seven eighth length. I don't know if you can see it. And they should still go a little bit higher on me. So yeah, these would probably be a little bit too short. Again, these are also the 30 inch inseam. So I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, again, medium does not work. Um, it is ridiculous. How is this already tight around my calves? I don't have massive calves. Jesus, people have calves, okay? Um, but yeah, again, doesn't fit. All right, surprise, surprise, we got more pants. <laughs> These are the high rise tie loose solid pen. They again look very, very similar to what we saw before, a paper bag, but these look and feel a little bit cheaper. So I actually already, when I touched, when I saw the fabric, I was like, no, I'm not gonna keep these because it looks like, they, they're kind of the same price as the other ones, but they look like they're half the price maximum. Um, this is the color, let me see, peat. Um, I think it looks a little too green to be peat, but sure. Um, otherwise same cut in the leg here also very minimal stretch and like the fabric is just not I don't know It's just not it. I, f I feel like it looks cheap I'm not sure if it comes across on camera, but to me it looks cheap. We don't have any pockets here No, again women don't need pockets, right? I mean, I Don't I don't like carrying purses. Okay, that's why I want pockets in my pants ah And not even any fake pockets in the back here. So completely bare there and um we just have an elastic up here and no zipper, no nothing, uh, but still like a belt tie thing. And this does not work for me, okay? It just does not. How, how am I getting this over my butt? I'm not. We will, we will see how far it goes, uh, but yeah, this, this was not a great pant for me. And um, that's it. That's okay. Let's see it on or not, I guess. All right, next up, I can already tell you from seeing this with the um, just the elastic, this is not going to go anywhere. But let's just try it for uh, good fun, you know? Um, again, around my knees, around here, it feels a little tight already. My knees are apparently not made for pants. And yep, this is how far we get. If I wanted to, I could wiggle maybe a tiny bit more, but there's no way I could get this over over the, that butt, you know? Um, yeah, this is just where we end. Again, a medium. How you would fit this waist situation over a butt that is actually a medium, I don't know. It doesn't work, as we can see. So, yeah, no. All right, I also try to go for a very classic black, like, suit pant. And these are the High Waist Straight Pant SB1. I actually did get them in an EU size 38, so US 6, because that's the biggest they had. The rest was sold out, so this was already like kind of like a ah, an iffy situation. Because I think in like these kind of dress pants, it will be better to go for an US 8 for me. And um, I already knew that, but the thing is also these don't have any belt loops. So I was like, if this is too big around the waist, then what do I do? I can't wear them, you know? So I was hoping I could get this over my butt and then close it up and just have it fit nicely at the waist. But again, stretch is very, very minimal. Um, but these are more of a classic suit pant, I feel like. Um, straight leg here, maybe a little bit wider than the other pants we've seen so far. And it, yeah, really no belt loops here whatsoever, but it also doesn't look super high-waisted to me. The waist is not very wide. Again, we have like um, one of these like sliding buttons and an inner button. And again, only pockets in the front here. And in the back, we don't even have the fake pockets. So there's nothing there in the back. These are very, very simple. They look very wide in the leg, but then again, if there's no stretch, the butt is not gonna fit, okay? It's not gonna work. Um, nevertheless, these definitely look like a bit higher quality than the ones I just showed you now uh, before. And yeah, they're more of a classic pant. 
but let's see them on. All right, let's move on to these more dress pant-esque or more like, like your classic dress pant situation. Um, again, these are also supposedly the right size. I can again feel tightness around my calves, uh, but we get a little bit further with these. Okay, pant death activated. Oof. All right, all right, all right. This is, this is pants dance. Oh, heaven. And we can actually close these, but they just, they just feel so tight around here. I don't know if you can see it, but like, I feel like some of the seams are holding on for dear life around here. And what do we have here gaping in the waist? Of course we do. <laughs> I always love that. It's like, you're kind of like squeezing your way into something. And what you get for that is like tightness everywhere, but like the waist is just gaping. I could like, I don't know, I could put like a ton of stuff up here, but nothing whatsoever on the sides. So yeah, these are a definite no. Um, but the first ones we could actually uh, zip up. Uh, yay. I don't know. I'm uh, kind of flabbergasted by the fit of some of these. Um, what size are these though? Hey, these are actually uh, 38. So I think they're kind of in between a small and medium. So the fact that the mediums all that we saw so far did not fit, but these like that are actually a bit smaller do get zipped up is like just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let's just move on. All right, I thought I could also venture out a little bit, you know, and be like classy, but also a little bit different. And I got these cord pants in the color dark ivy. And I can kind of already see my ring lights through this, even through the double, like both the legs. That's not good, you know? Um, again, we only have like an elastic up top here. And yes, we have a drawstring, but like there's nothing to open this, nothing whatsoever. <clears throat> I did get these in a medium. So theoretically they should fit and um, yeah but the fabric feels very thin and cheap and like with cord or corduroy or whatever you call it I'm used to it being a little bit thicker if that makes sense they're also not stretchy at all nothing whatsoever it's they do have pockets here but not in the back again you have the fake pockets like really just fake pockets that's all they can do in the back I guess but yeah they do feel much thinner than I expected they feel like cheaper quality than I expected, especially for the price. It says these are no, um, because it has a price in US dollars on here, but I don't think that can be true because your European price is 40 euros, which is already too much. And then US dollars says 69 and 40 euros would be approximately like 40, let's say 42, $45. Um, anyway, these are not worth it, is what I'm just trying to say. Let's see these on. All right, guys, are you ready to see this disaster on? Um, probably not on, but uh, as far as we can get it. <laughs> Let's see. Again, tightness around my calves and my knees. And how far do we get these? Ooh, yes. Um, not even the biggest part of my thighs. Uh, isn't that phenomenal? So this is where we're ending with this. <laughs> um... I like the color combination though, it works with my one piece, but these just don't work. So let's just move on. All right, now that we've gone through all the pants in my set back pile, <laughs> um, I do actually have two pants in my maybe keep pile. Um, so let's, let's take a look at them. I'm not sure about one of them yet, but um, they both fit is the, the, the thing that got them into the, the pile. We have the, let me see, is there no tag on these? Um, well, I will just insert the, 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 you know, you'll have it with the description box, but these are the, again, a high rise straight pant in black. And this fabric is not super amazing, but it's like nice and thick. At least I do not see my lights through. That's a plus. And these are a bit more of a wider leg, which is why I'm not super sure yet about these. Um, again, I also got them in a size medium and 32 inch inseam. And just note, this is a in another medium, like some of the other pants that I also had that didn't fit, and these do fit. So again, same as always, you can buy 
different pants from the same company, the same brand, and the same size, and they're all going to fit differently, or they're not going to fit at all, or some of them fit amazing, and it's just a whole disaster, as we all know. Same as buying jeans. <laughs> I, I don't know why I had higher hopes for, like, these type of pants. I thought they were more stretchy or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so these are a bit more wider legged. They do have belt loops at least. That's good in case the waist doesn't fit perfectly. And again, sliding button here and a fly zipper. Um, my only problem with these, or not my only problem, one of the big problems I have with these is they do look like they have pockets. They don't. In the back, they do look like they have pockets. They don't. So these pants do not have pockets. All of them are fake pockets because I know what you're thinking. Maybe you can just cut them open. No, they're just fake. There's no real pocket there, which is such a shame because they do fit nicely. They're actually quite comfortable. But yeah, so for me, the wider leg is a little bit of like, I don't know, you don't wear these and um, the no pocket situation. So I'm not 100% sure yet, uh, but let's see these on. All right, more pants. More promising, you know. I'm already like enjoying this more <laughs> than some of the other try-ons that we saw before. It's a little bit more stretchy, nothing too tight. A little bit of a pan stance, but that's always okay. And let's just zip this up. There we go. Again, they are a little bit big around here. A little bit is good. I mean, there's a whole bunch of space. Um, but that's just normal, you know, that just happens all the time. And I don't like that it doesn't have real pockets, but I will say that they do feel comfortable. Um, they don't feel too tight. We do have belt loops, so if I were to wear these, I'd probably have to wear a belt with this because otherwise it looks a little ridiculous having all this space here, especially when you sit down, you're gonna see it a little bit more. And I mean, I would wear this and tuck in my shirt, not like wear it on top, so it would be a little bit more visible. Um, otherwise, I think they are comfortable. They're quite stretchy. If I wanted to, I could even squat in these. So it's all good. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure about the leg situation. If I like this wider leg um, thing, they are maybe also a little bit short for that. So I always feel like when you have like this wide of a leg, it's good if it kind of graces the bottom basically, because when you wear shoes, then you know, it's a little, it's basically the right length if it kind of touches the bottom when you're barefoot, but when you wear shoes, it doesn't anymore. And that's why I'm thinking they might be a little bit short because, you know, they're not touching the ground right now and I'm not gonna go barefoot to the conference anyway. So yeah, I'm not sure yet. Not 100% convinced of these, but they're definitely better than most of what we saw before. So yeah, it's a win. <laughs> I just don't like how, like, how is this so big up here? Like, why don't they make, like, these kind of bottoms? Because you have the possibility to use stretchy material because you're not using jeans, okay? Why don't you make it so it fits people with smaller waists but bigger butts? It's the thing that happens. People have this figure. It happens more often than you think. Um, but yeah, we got these. All right, and last but not least, in the pants department, we got another high-rise loose paperback pant. Again, I got this in a size medium, 32-inch inseam. And these are in the color Night Sky, so it's like a dark navy color. And these are a little bit tighter in the legs than the ones that I just showed you, so not very, not very wide down there, which I, I mean, I personally like that. And again, a paperback top here, and the fabric is actually really nice. It's very stretchy, as you can see here. So it feels a little bit like joggers, but it looks a little bit more serious. And that's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I want to feel comfortable while presenting my research, okay? While still looking like, looking put together. Um, we do have this belt, um, tie belt situation again, which is nice for my waist. We again have two sliding buttons here and an inner button. I usually probably will not do this up. And we do have pockets here in the front, but again, in the back, same thing as with all the pens we saw today. Fake, 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 fake pockets. Um, really don't understand it, but that's fine. These ones do look kind of decent while, like I said, having that kind of the comfort of a jogger. 
which I really, really appreciate. Um, I have a few blouses I can definitely wear with this, even though it's like a navy color. I can still see that. And then, um, so these, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep them because they are exactly what I was looking for, comfortable while still looking a little bit more serious. I'm just like, I feel like I'm cheating, you know, because they are so comfortable. <laughs> and I'm like, do they really look serious? Can people tell that I'm this, this comfortable in these pants? Um, but yeah, these are definitely a keeper. And let's see these on. All right, another pair of pants. These are navy blue, and I know they look a little bit darker, but I actually also like that they're not like super, obviously super navy, you know? And like I said, these ones felt like a little bit like joggers. <laughs> so definitely like really comfortable to put on. I don't even need a pants dance. Like, what is this sorcery? Um, easy peasy, done up here, zipper there, and then of course we have a ton of space in the waistband because how could it be any different when something actually fits? <laughs> but we do have the waist, um, the, 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 the tie thing here anyway. So I don't mind that it's that much bigger around there. And it's also, I mean, it's a paper back waist, right? So they're kind of supposed to be a little like that. And hey, look, we can have pants that fit. Isn't that phenomenal? <laughs> so um, yeah, these are definitely like my favorite of all the ones I tried. They're also more of a tighter fit at the bottom, and this is also where they're 7 8 length, but for this style, I think that's absolutely fine. I don't have any complaints there. And we do have the pockets here in the front. Um, it's proper pants because we have a zipper and we have the buttons, so I'm not complaining about that either. And yeah, with the belt here, you get this nice paper bag waist, you have the fake pockets in the back, just to look a little bit more serious. And yeah, I just feel like I'm cheating with these because they seriously feel like I'm wearing joggers. So um, these are definitely uh, coming with me to the conference and I'm just gonna wear like some, like, I don't know, nice shirts with it and then uh, gonna look put together and I guess the other time I'll just wear black jeans or something. <laughs> um, yeah, but I really, really like these. Uh, I'm not sure if they had more colors in this or not. Because sometimes it was a little bit difficult to see the differences between some of the pants because they all looked the same, but they were not. So I just ordered a color from this and a color from that, and um, that was kind of it. But these are really good. I like them. The price point on these is also okay-ish for like this comfortable of a pant. Um, While well, you're still looking put together. And like I said, I feel like I'm wearing joggers, but uh, I'm not, okay? I'm wearing serious pants. Um, yeah, so I definitely like these. All right, guys, we've gone through all the pens, and I know this was a long video already. So if you're not interested anymore, and it was enough for you to see these two beautiful tunics, dresses, whatever, then, you know, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise we keep going. We have more favorite things of mine, dresses. I actually really do like dresses. They're easy to put on. There's usually not too much struggling happening. And um, they're like, there's very cute summer dresses that I found, some that didn't work so well for me, some that I was like, oh, I'm not convinced. Um, but yeah, again, I think I will go through some that I'm probably gonna send back. And then you already saw my, my definite favorite. But yeah, we'll go through some that I'm probably gonna send back and then some that I really like as well, other than the tunics that I already showed you. So let's do that. Let's start with something green. I like colors. So this is the lace short sleeve v-neck short dress in the color Comfrey. So this one was just like, I wasn't super convinced. And I've also realized basically, by the way, that green is really hard to show on camera because now I see like it looks a little bit more washed out than it is in real life. And particularly this shade of green that this dress is, is really, really hard to show. So just imagine it a little bit more vibrant. This is a very, very simple dress. It's a very nice, like lightweight fabric. Um, a little bit less cottony in the feel than the tunics that I showed you in the beginning. And we do have like some, I don't know, some lace detailing here up top, the V-neck, and then it's quite loose fitting, but we do have just a fabric belt that comes with this. And then you can kind of like accentuate your waist a little bit more. I usually get the dresses from Vera Motor in a small, and that is because for some reason their dresses fit very big. So sometimes I actually even have to go down to an extra small. 
I've definitely had to go back to their store because I just bought it off the rack because I was like, this is cute. I'm going to take this in a small, tried it on at home and it was too big and had to go back. <laughs> it was this bad that I actually had to go back and actually exchange it for the smaller size. So yeah, their dresses usually fit a little bit smaller than everything else. Smaller, bigger, I mean, because um, apparently the pants don't fit too big. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of like frilling here at the sleeves and a little bit of volants down here. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't convinced of this one. And let's find out why. Let's see this on. All right, here we have this little green number. It is definitely long enough. Definitely needs some ironing. <laughs> That's already like a big minus point because I don't like to have to iron stuff. Um, yeah, especially because you, you, know, you take this out of the closet and you're like, oh, I want to wear this. And it's not like, oh, I want to iron this now and then wear it. <laughs> so yeah, we have that. Um, this comes with a belt. Uh, you do have a little bit of like, you know, this flowiness coming up around your hip bones here and before that's a little bit more tight fitting so it's a little bit more um, form shaping than like the bohemian boho tunings I showed you in the beginning so you have this belt and then you can basically tie the waist with it and um, we also have these cute sleeves there's not a lot of like cleavage happening here and I like I like it but I'm also not like it's not like a wow for me basically uh, like I said, the whole, like, it being, like, very crinkly, it needs ironing. Um, I mean, I think it's flattering uh, on my body type because you have, like, this belt and everything. But all in all, I'm not, like, 100% convinced. You can, you know, it's, it's also definitely long enough. That's not the problem. It's just, like, I don't know. It's not my my favorite. Let's say that. You know, there, there, there can be things that you're, like, yeah, I mean, they look okay. But, like... You don't. You still don't have to have them, if that makes sense. I also like the fabric. It's very lightweight. It's just not, not exactly me, you know. Um, but it might be nice on someone else, if that someone was willing to iron things. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Let's move on to a wrap dress. This is the two quarters wrap frill dress in blue bell tiny dots. So it's the same like light blue color that I showed you in the tunic, but it has like the white polka dots on there. And this is a true wrap dress. So it currently looks like a little bit like a like an apron, you know? And uh, you can just put it on like this and then you just wrap it around yourself. And it's, I think two quarters of sleeve length. So it's not like a three quarter sleeve, but it's also not like just a small sleeve. It's a little bit longer, it covers you up until here basically and I don't know the fabric is just not that convincing I, I saw this um, online I was like this kind of looks cute um, but the fabric is just it feels a little cheap to me a little I don't know not soft enough not like not comfortable enough I'm just trying to find the tag so I can see what the fabric is but I don't seem to manage um, it just says it's made from recyclable fabrics oh here it is so this is made from polyester, but I've definitely felt polyester, I felt a little bit nicer. So I hope it's not because it's recycled, because I'd like to wear recycled fabrics more often. Um, we have a little bit of volant ruching down here. And then, yeah, I mean, you know how wrap dresses go, I guess. <laughs> They're not my favorite, but you know, sometimes it's cute to have that. A little bit of ruching on the sleeve here as well. And um, I did get this one in a small too. So yeah, let's see this on. All right, here we have the wrap dress. I definitely had higher hopes for this. Um, it doesn't just feel cheap. I also think it kind of looks cheap, so not my thing. And I also don't like where this um, whole like tie thing sits. It's not my waist, it's a little bit higher. It's kind of underneath my chest. And my waist is here, you know? That's probably where it would be a little bit more flattering to have. Like, it would make the body look a bit nicer, I don't know, it would just like accentuate the curves a little bit better, but no, instead we have it up here. So I'm not sure if I'm too tall for this dress, or what the issue is here, um, but for sure I don't, I just don't like it. I just don't like how it fits. Um, it's also a little tight here, so a little bit, um, the, the back muscles are a little bit of a problem, you know. Um, yeah, we have a very deep cleavage situation here, which is fine by me. As long as I don't fall out, you know. The sleeves are also okay. They don't cut in or anything. But yeah, this whole, like, I don't know. I don't like where this sits. It's too high. Um, not my thing. I like the length, though. The length is okay. 
It's short, but it's not too short in the back. It's a little bit longer. So that's absolutely fine with me. And yeah, it's just, I don't like the material. Um, and yeah, I think it, it just, no. It just doesn't look as good as I imagined it would look, you know. I had higher hopes, for sure. All right, next up we have the dress that I was kind of on the fence about, but I decided against keeping it. This is the Miriam Julia two-quarter V-neck short dress and Granada Sky. So I think the color is very, very pretty. Um, it just doesn't fit on me the way I would like to. I will explain more when I have it on. Again, a two-quarter sleeve, so it's a little bit longer in the sleeves. And it basically is two in one, a two-in-one dress because you have um, an inner dress, like just a simple spaghetti like dress, a blue one, which actually feels very nice. It feels like very soft, cottony, very lightweight. And then on top you have like the um, lace situation here uh, with the holes, the v-neck, uh, full buttons down all the way that you can't actually button up, like you can't unbutton it basically, it's just for, for detailing. Um, and then yeah, it's just like very lightweight, it's very nice, I really do like the color, it's very pretty. And um, you get an extra button as well, of course, what usually happens, right, if you have these buttons somewhere. Um, again, a little bit of ruching, also down here at the bottom. It's just like the way where the waist set, it was too high on me and wasn't as flattering. Because sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit too tall and then like where the waist is supposed to be ends up being here and not there. Like there's like a, this big of a difference. And then it's just like it doesn't fit as well, you know. Um, but yeah, I think it's very cute. If you're a little bit of a smaller person in terms of height, this could work for you. And um, I also saw someone style this with a belt, but it didn't make it better for me. And for the price that it is, um, it was just not worth it. So, um, again, here it says it's 60 euros, which would be around 65 US dollars, I think. But then on the tag it says it's 115 US dollars. So I'm not sure if when they have these prices on here, they calculate for like importing these things into North America. Um, I guess it kind of would make sense. So if you're in Europe, definitely cheaper than if you're in North America. Uh, but yeah. For me, it was just not worth it, uh, not worth the 60 euros. If it had been half the price, maybe, but yeah, let's see it on. All right, here we have this little blue number. I really do like the color. I think I said that multiple times already. Um, and I think it's cute, but again, same problem with some other things. This is where the elastic sits, and this is not where my waist is. My waist is down here. So again, I feel like I'm a little bit too tall for this, because this way it doesn't really do much for my body. It just looks, you know, kind of shapeless in a way, because it's not sitting in my waist. Um, also, I feel like the skirt is a little bit tighter, so maybe if I sized up to a medium, like this would also be a little bit lower. But then again, I do have some space here in the back, and I'm always afraid if I size up to a medium that there will be too much space up here, whereas maybe it's a little bit flowier at the bottom. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if one size up is gonna solve this much of an issue in terms of where this elastic should be sitting. Again, as I told you, I, started, saw, 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 bleh, I also saw some people pair this with a belt. So I tried that to kind of maybe make it look a little bit nicer, but like, it still didn't distract from the fact that the elastic is up here, you know, because it can only cover this this much. And you can see that the difference is bigger than what the belt can cover. So yeah, it didn't really work for me. Um, you can see that there's this little bit of extra fabric there though, but yeah. It's just not a perfect fit and ultimately, you know, for this price it should be. I still think it's cute. I think for someone who has a shorter torso, this could be a really cute dress. You're also looking very like put together. Um, you have this second, like this inner dress, which is also very nice and cottony. And then just this outer layer. Um, yeah, the sleeves fit nicely. They're not cutting in too much into my biceps. That's also nice to see because sometimes they do. And I mean, it's cute. It's just not a perfect fit for my body. All right, next up we have a dress and I'm really sad it's not working out so much for me. <laughs> Cause I actually really, really like it. I like how it looks on me. It's just like some issues. 
This is the Liliana Puff Short Dress in light blue denim. Um, I'm not exactly sure if denim dresses are coming back or not. I used to have a lot more when I was younger. <laughs> but this one was such a cute one. It has the puff sleeves. Um, you can wear it a little bit off your shoulder or a little bit more on your shoulder. Uh, it's very simple on the front. You just have like, you know, a nice flowy skirt, which I always like. And in the back, you have like this kind of like smogged thing that kind of like, you know, also moves with you a little bit more, which is nice. And um, yeah, it's also very lightweight denim. So it's not like your typical like jeans fabric. It's a little bit thinner than that. It's a nice light wash. I think this goes with anything. So cute, but yeah, not working out for me. We have elastics down here, which is usually which is the problem that I had with this one. Um, because the sleeves are short and then the elastic is just cutting off my muscles and it just doesn't work. <laughs> but it's cute. Um, this one is supposedly 40 euros and then it says 72 US dollars. Uh, but 40 euros, so that'll translate to like 45 US dollars. Like I said, they just add something on top for like importing into North America for sure. Um, but yeah, I think it's very cute. It's very soft, very flowy. I liked it a lot, except for the elastics up here. So let's see it on. All right, this dress is so cute and it just really pains me, quite literally, <laughs> to see that this doesn't fit. And the only reason why it doesn't fit is just because this elastic is too tight. So I have tried some dresses from Miramoto where they had an elastic right there. And it was fine, but this one is just like, ow, it's painful. And it's not long enough to like kind of put it somewhere else, you know? And like the purpose of these like puff sleeves or whatever you call them, is also that they're kind of like a little bit like this, right? So you shouldn't like kind of stretch it out to the ultimum. But yeah, so I can't wear this because it's too tight here. Otherwise it's a perfect fit. Like look how nicely it fits up here and it's flowy at the bottom. Like it's nice and flowy like this. And again, you compare this with a belt. Also, this is where my waist is. So it kind of sits perfectly where my waist is. No complaints with this one. So why does it not fit in my sleeves? At my sleeves, at my arms. <laughs> um, yeah, put a belt on it. Still looks cute. And yeah, it's just so sad. So sad. But I just can't walk around like this. At some point, my arms are gonna fall off, you know, or turn blue or something, because circulation is getting cut off. So, unfortunately, it's not going to work because of this tight elastic here. And I'm just really like, why did you do this? Like, why? Um, but yeah, if you have slightly less thick arms, <laughs> you could try this one. Um, for sure, go with your normal dress size otherwise. But like, if you have a biceps or like train your arms or something, it's probably not going to be good for you. Unfortunately, I think it's so cute. So cute. Ah, I'm sad, but that's okay. All right, next up, I got a dress in two different prints. This is the Kaya Singlet Short Dress in Lavendula Lula. And this is called Seed Pearl Lena. So this one actually has lemons on it, so I'm not sure exactly what they mean with seed pearl. Um, some lemons, some flowers, it's like a light yellow, um, which, yes, was a little like, well, I'll see how it goes, but I mean, if you can return stuff, right, then you can just do that. You can just try out different things where you're not 100% sure. Um, again, got this in size small. We have thin straps, but they're also adjustable here. A little bit of a v-neck situation. And then you have like an elastic here and then a little bit more of a flowy skirt. It's double lined. So you have this one, you have like um, polyester kind of underskirt and this light yellow to kind of match the top layer, which is just like a thinner mesh. And for this lavender one, you kind of have um, just a white underskirt. So, but like basically double lined for the whole thing. And yeah, I mean, the cut is the same. It's just like two very different colors. I mean, you're not a pink person because this says it's lavender, but like comparing this with like my lavender sports bra, this definitely looks way more pink, right? Like it's definitely like a, it's a different situation. <laughs> The print is also a little bit more like animal print than I imagine it to be. It kind of looks like a leopard print to me. Whereas the lemons definitely, you know, looks like lemons. And um, yeah, 
these feel not very expensive and they were also supposed to be like 25 euros so around 30 bucks and then on the price tag it says 42 usd um so yeah just keep that in mind it's always a little more expensive apparently in usd than it is uh, if you actually directly uh you know what do you call that convert <laughs> the euros to the us dollar um, but yeah, I thought these were cute. They could be like very simple summer dress where you can just throw like a jean jacket on top and you're gonna be fine. Um, I wasn't 100% convinced of these. So let's see these on and let's find out why. All right, this is another one of these dresses where I'm wondering if I'm too tall for it or what's going on. Because this seam, I always think this should be sitting around your waist. My waist is down here. So basically it should be sitting there, but then it's like a little bit too low for my liking. So, I mean, of course, I could make the straps a little bit longer and then try to, like, have it sit lower. But like I said, then I feel like I'm going to expose my bra and whatever. Um, and I don't want to do that. But we do have adjustable straps, so there's at least that. But yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit too tall for it um, to, you know, have to sit in my waist, in my natural waist. And yeah, it's not, it's not too flattering, in my opinion, if you have it right underneath the chest, like this umpire, umpire steel style, whatever. It doesn't work for my body type because of the whole butt situation just makes everything below look a little bit bigger and I don't like that um, otherwise I think it's like nice and flowy it's not the most expensive dress and I mean you can kind of see it but it's still cute so yeah if I was a little shorter or if I had a little shorter torso maybe this could be a better fit and um, I will say I like the length though it's it's a decent length it's not super flowy like you know, but like you still have, it's, it's not a tight fitting dress either, right? So you have like still a little bit of space here. And um, I will also say that I'm happy that the inner dress is not like super tight because sometimes they do that, that you have like a flowy outer dress and then they make the inner dress so tight that it basically doesn't fit me even though the outer dress would fit me. And then I think it's just so annoying if the inner dress is what, you know, kind of prevents you from wearing something. Um, so yeah, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm not 100% convinced. I don't dislike it, but it's just like, you know, it's not something I have to have necessarily. I can see it being cute on someone else, but it's not for me. All right, here we have this whole number in pink and I did prefer the lemons, I think. Like, this doesn't look too good on my skin tone, I think. And the Legato looked a little bit better. Maybe maybe when I look at the footage, I'm gonna disagree with that and gonna think the opposite. And also what I've noticed a lot with this one, not with the yellow one too much, but like you can definitely see my bra through, you know? And this is already, this is double lined. So you have like this white inner layer, but you can still see my bra through. And that's kind of like a little bit concerning, you know? That's not what you want, especially when it's already double layered. That makes you wonder if you can actually also see the underwear through. I'm currently wearing a new thong, so chances are good you can't. But I'm just saying, if you can already see the white bra through, like, yes, this top is a little bit tighter fitting than the bottoms are, but they're not super flowy, you know? And also, if you get wet, if you get into a summer rain or something, like, it's going to cling to your body, you're definitely going to see everything. So, hmm, not, I'm not really thrilled by that discovery, I will say. Um, so just keep that in mind. I still think it's a cute dress, but again... Same as with the other one, obviously, because the same dress, just a different print. Um, I'm a little too tall for this, I guess, or it was meant to be like this and I just don't like it. I want it to be in my waist. So yeah, just keep that in mind and then it might be slightly see-through. Uh, weird though that we didn't see it with the yellow, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But yeah, just keep it in mind, the pink one, definitely a little see-through, yeah. And um, I mean, like I said, the cut is the same, so it's still not for me. And if anything, I would, I think, take the lemon one and not this one. All right, guys, I promise we're nearly there. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not used to this, I usually do very long videos, so this is nothing new. Um, and I mean, look at, look at this little number. I'm not sure about this one yet, by the way. This is called the... Natalie short dress in cherry tomato. I really love the color. I love the fabric. It's like kind of like very cottony again. Feels like it's gonna be great for warm days. So um, let me just find the tag and see if it is or not. Where have they hidden 
the tag. There we go. So we do have 100% um, cotton on the outside and then we have a second layer on the inside and that's 100% polyester. Also feels very different. It's a little more shiny, so it's a little more polyester-like. But the outer layer is cotton and it also feels like it. I always like the feel of cotton for summer dresses specifically because I feel like it's just cooling. Um, yes, you're gonna see the sweat, but you know, who cares when it's 35 degrees outside, then you're sweating. Who's not sweating is basically, I don't know, a miracle, an angel, like not real, a fictional character. <laughs> But yeah, I like this dress. It kind of looks like it's a wrap dress, but it's not. So it's a fake wrap dress. I'm not 100% sure about it is because I can't figure out if this is... I don't know. And when I have it on, it looks a little weird because I feel like the skirt doesn't line up nice very well. So like, it kind of goes a little bit like this normally. But when it's on me, for some reason, the longer part seems to be further off to the side. So I haven't figured out if that's because of how I put it on or if it's just because of how it works on the body because when I when I hang it up like when I have it holding up like this it doesn't look like it's doing that so I'm not sure yet um but yes I do like it, it I think it's cute it's very simple the fabric is a little more textured as well than you're used to which I really like as well and uh, we have a little elastic here around the waist and yeah like I said I always showed you the inner skirt it line, uh, matches up color wise and I really like the feel of it and I do like the color so let's see it on all right, do I look like a cherry tomato? Because uh, I think it's a little bit more orange than cherry tomato, to be honest. But it's still such a fun color. Um, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a wrap dress, but it's not. So like, there's nothing like if there, you can't open this here, basically. Um, you have a little bit of, like some like ruching at the sleeves here. Otherwise, just an elastic there. Again, it sits a little bit too high for me. So my waist is here, but I think with this type of dress, it still fits okay. So I don't have the same complaint as with some other dresses. But I will say that for some reason it looks like it's longer off to the side here than, you know. And I don't know, like, I, th I feel like I have to kind of wear this a little bit differently, but then it's pulling too much from here to there. So, yeah, this is why I'm not sure about this one yet. I think it's super lightweight. It feels like it's going to be really nice for summer. Um, and it is a little bit shorter than some of the other dresses we saw, but, like, I still think it's cute. Full coverage in the back up here, not not the legs for sure and like it's still very flowy and I told you right I like flowy dresses so I'm happy with that I also do really do like the color but I think I might send this back because of like how how fits a little weirdly in the length here so yeah what do you guys think um I'll probably have my, my decision by the time you watch this video anyway but you know you can still let me know and I really like the structure of this as well but yeah you can see here like I can't pull this more over here to kind of get this better because my boob is here and I, you don't want to wear this over the other boob right like you kind of want to wear this between and then kind of bring this over here and then you have the length on this side again and for that you want to put it back here but then you have the seam going along here again so not exactly sure what's up with that um but that might mean I will send it back we also have this inner dress here which is again a little bit shorter and I feel like so the seam of the inner dress is here. The seam of the outer dress is here. So something is weird with this because they should align um, and they don't really. So maybe it was also kind of sewn wrong or something, uh, or sewn wrong, um, and that's nothing I can solve or I'm willing to solve if I pay full price for something. So yeah, I might send this back, but it's cute. Alright, last but not least, we have a dress that looks a little bit more like autumn, fall. It is the Jenny short dress in rose brown flowers. But it's so cute. It has short sleeves, as you can see here. Blah. There we go. Also an elastic here, but I don't find that too invasive. We have this cute v-neck, some buttons there as well. Again, for detailing, like we've seen before. And then just like ruching, a little bit of balance here. And... It is actually very thin, so it's kind of like single line, but it's a darker color, so I didn't find it to be too see-through. We'll see how it looks under like actual like harsher lighting. Um, but I think this is super cute, and like sometimes, even if it's summer, maybe I just don't want to wear a super bright color, but want to wear something like more muted, so I'm not like 
kind of off the radar, you know, because I don't know how you feel, but like usually I have to decide what I want to wear depending on if I want to be stared at that day or not, which is sad, but you know, you have kind of have to think about that. And of course, if you wear like a bright red like this, like people are going to see you more because everyone's just going to be like, whoa, I saw something very bright. Um, and it's just an instinct that people have, right? That they're just going to look that direction. But like, you know, if you wear more of a muted color, it's less likely that people are going to stare at you. Like I said, again, it's sad that you have to think about this, but <laughs> you do. Um, if you know, you know, yeah. Um, so I thought this would be a cute dress. I really like it. I think it's super cute also when I have it on. Again, this would fit super nicely with some golden sandals and stuff. And yeah, let's see it on. All right, here we have this cute little dress. It really makes me feel very cute. So uh, I think it is very cute. <laughs> we have this nice deep V. You have the sleeves, but again, these are not cutting in like the ones from the jeans dress. They're just nice, nicely sitting there, you know, giving you a little bit of a puff sleeve, but not too much. And then you have like these fake buttons here. And then this also, again, sits a little bit too high. My waist is here. But with this, how this dress fits, again, I don't mind it too much. So I think it also really depends on the, the rest of the fit of the dress and not just like where the, where the elastic sits. So here I still think it accentuates my waist nicely. Um, it's nice and flowy, it's long enough and it's very lightweight. And that is of course because it's a single layer, but I don't think you can see too much through here. Not like with that pink dress at all. And that was double layered. So yeah. And look at how flowy this is. So yeah, I live for these things. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I could just put these dresses on, just stand in front of the mirror and do this the whole day. Um, and that makes me happy. Uh, yeah, I think it's super cute. With the long sleeves also, it's, it's a little bit more, I don't wanna say modest, but it's a little more like cute, you know? And it doesn't show like too much skin. Although of course I don't think that showing shoulders is too much skin, but if a dress is short and you have the shoulders free, like it's a lot sometimes. I mean, I do love that as well especially when it's very warm. But like like I said, sometimes it's a lot. And this one is kind of like, if you feel like, yeah, I wanna wear a short dress, but you don't wanna be like, a lot? I don't know. So yeah, I think it's cute. I like the print on this as well. Um, I think you could also wear this in autumn, for sure, depending on how cold it is where you are, of course. But like still, you could wear this with black tights and boots as well, and it wouldn't be looking too weirdly. I feel like sometimes if you do that with a summer dress, a lighter color or something, it looks a little odd. But like with this one, it would definitely work as well and just throw over a little cardigan or something and you're also good to go. But it's also nice for like summer with like some golden sandals. So, yeah. All right, guys, it's conclusion time. So again, a lot of hit and miss. Um, I will also say I like to go to their store as well but the store in my town or my city isn't that big. So for me, it's actually better to be able to shop online and, you know, just use the fact that I can return stuff because, yeah, the store isn't that big. I don't have as many options because they don't have everything there. And that's why I appreciate that I can order online. Of course, now I have the hassle of having to repack everything, fill out the return sheet and whatnot. Um, but it is fine. I also do have a pre-printed like printed return label from them already. So that's nice and I can just send it off and deal with it. So yeah, I have like these sheets of papers now that I have to fill out and um, I just need to, I don't know, drop this off. I need to figure out how to drop this off actually. Um, yeah, but basically there is a prepaid return label and you just put it in the original package and just, oh, it says postmark, okay. Drop it off, you know, and you're fine. So I appreciate when they do that, when I don't have to deal with printing things out myself and it's already in the package and I just need to, you know, put everything together and just drop it off at the, at the postal office, basically. Um, again, I already told you what my favorites are. These are a must have and there's so many different colors. There's going to be one that everyone likes. And if you're in like in the market for a great summer dress that you can just throw on and if it's hot as hell, it's still gonna be fine. Um, or if you just want a beach cover up, if you want to feel cute, uh, you like the boho vibes, you know, these are these are definitely it. Um, I'm fine with these two colors that I have now because 
these are the two colors that resonate most with me <laughs> so I don't necessarily need to get more colors of this but for sure I will check again next year if they have come out with even more colors if there's something that I want that I really like but um, I do like the two colors I have now the, the light blue is very light blue so that's really um, like it's it's a very striking color I find and the dark red is something I actually can just wear every day and um, yeah I don't know I really like these so definitely must have if you have Vera Moda where you live or you have you're able to get your hands on these I can highly recommend them I've worn this so much last year as well and it still looks brand new compared to this one I don't see it any differences so yeah you can't go wrong with these um yes otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed uh you know seeing me struggle with the pants because I I mean you know I I don't like pants shopping but I do I don't know I do like trying things on right and I feel like if it's fun to watch me try things on and like failing sometimes then I want to share that with you. <laughs> I personally don't mind if things don't fit me in the size I'm su like this supposed to fit me. I used to struggle with that a lot more. I used to be like, oh my god, this medium doesn't fit me. Does that mean I'm fat? Like, I don't care anymore. I know how this works. Um, and clothes are supposed to fit you, not you are supposed to fit the clothes, right? Um, I also know why I do struggle with fitting things. I used to not be really aware of that. And now I know, okay, my waist is so small, but like, my butt and my thighs are just like bigger and I have accepted it's harder for me to find specific things and sometimes when I do find the things that fit me um I don't actually care which size I get them in I get them in the size that fit me that fits me because I want to have that piece of clothing you know and I've stopped really caring too much about what the label says I've stopped you know stepping on scales and stuff um I had a really toxic relationship with that at some point uh like 10 years ago 12 years ago maybe even <laughs> so um you know so if you struggle with that just know that like you know just don't let these numbers affect you or these letters I guess because uh, sometimes sizing also comes with letters and um just make sure that you can wear clothes that make you feel confident um regarding like just regarding the, the size this piece of clothing is also like so many different brands have so many different size charts some brands fit large some brands fit small and like there's no way like you can be the same size in every single brand on this planet and in every single item of clothing. So just go with whatever fits and whatever makes you feel confident, basically. Yes, um, my little TED talk. Thank you for listening. <laughs> if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I usually do review more active wear, so um, you'll see a lot more active wear try on videos than mama clothes. I like to throw these in every now and then. Like I said, I also do struggle way more with fitting normal clothes than with fitting activewear. And I know a lot of you feel the same. So I think it's good to show that every now and then that all of us struggle with this. <laughs> you are not alone. And just turn this into a funny experience, you know? Maybe. So, um, yes. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future brands to review for like things you want me to to look at to review to that things you want to see let me know down in the comments below you can also follow me on instagram here um you can also dm me there but i'm more likely to see your comment here on youtube so don't be sad if i don't reply to your dm on instagram just comment here on youtube and i'll get back to you and yeah thank you so much for watching this video any feedback any suggestions are very welcome and i will see you next time bye